morning, everyone. I'm Dominic Garcia. And I'm Dina Kupfer. We, of course, have our meteorologist, yeah. Tracy Humphrey, our expert for today. You've been warning <laughs> us yes. about the intensity of this storm, mostly for the higher elevations. It has arrived. It has arrived. And I do yeah. believe that the worst of it comes in later on this afternoon, wow. this evening, and tonight. Okay. That's when you're going to see the strongest snow bands. That's when you're going to have some of the strongest wind gusts. And for the valley, that's when we will also see some pretty strong bands of mm -hmm. rainfall. Mm -hmm. Thunderstorms are also in the forecast. Another element to the storm that we've talked a lot about, um, and that has to do with the weight of the snow. You know, we haven't really had a storm like this all season long. Well, this is it. So we got snow showers coming in right now around 5,000 feet in elevation. Snow showers in the forecast for the next two days. Look at this. I'm just going to let the future cast just run. <laughs> okay, right? So when it's all said and done by Sunday, how much snowfall are we talking about? 5 to 12 feet of snowfall above 5,000 feet. And a lot of that snow will come in areas where people live. So, for example, Truckee and South Lake Tahoe, you could both see 5 feet of snowfall. So, let's talk about the weight of snow for a moment because not all snow is equal. You got wet snow, you got normal snow, and you also have fluffy snow. So, we're really looking at more fluffy snow, right? Because this is a cold storm. 12 inches of snow weighs 6,000 pounds. And you're like, 6,000 pounds? How much is that? A truck. Okay, so now you talk about normal snow on a 1,500 square foot home, that's about 9,000 pounds. Now all of a sudden you're getting to wet snow. That's the snow that you make those good snowballs with. That's more than 18,000 pounds. Now we're forecasting about five feet of snowfall for Truckee and South Lake Tahoe. This is just 24 inches. This is just two feet on a 1,500 square foot home. Look at how much it weighs with the fluffy snow. More than 12,000 pounds, more than 18,000 pounds with normal snow. And if it were wet snow, it would be more than 37,000 pounds. Dave Grasshoff texted me and said he ran into a, a young man in, um, in Auburn who said that a lot of his neighbors, their aluminum carports collapsed last year with that snow. So that's what we're going to be dealing with. You're going to have a lot of trees and branches that give way, possible power lines. And that's why during this storm, you need to be able to hunker down. So whiteout conditions are in the forecast. Uh, that's because, um, you know, we're looking at some pretty strong winds. And when you get whiteout conditions, you can get lost or disoriented. If you do have to travel, please have a survival kit. If you get stranded, stay in your vehicle and be prepared to ride out this storm for a few days. If you can't get out, maybe uh, you're a snowblower, maybe you don't have power to get it to work. Maybe you don't have enough gasoline because you can't get out to get it. You know, we don't know what the conditions are going to be like for people who live extremely isolated areas. So keep in mind that blizzard warning is in effect until 10 a.m. on Sunday, and we could be looking at another storm moving in for the middle of next week. So busy weather for us. That's a look at your weather for this morning for your first alert traffic. Hey,